Zalbach, aka Zalbach Interglam Ski Resort, is part of the ski circus Zalbach Interglam Leogang Fieberbrunn Ski Area, one of the largest lift interlinked ski resorts in Austria. Zalbach Interglam is one of the liveliest of the resorts in Austria and hugely popular in the area, known for its relaxed vibe and huge free ride terrain. In this video, we'll show you the most important things that you need to know before booking a vacation in Zalbach. And if you stay until the end of the video, you'll get some great tips that'll help you make better decisions, save time and money, and have a more enjoyable vacation. So, how do you get to Zalbach? The closest airports to Zalbach are Salzburg Airport, with a transfer time of an hour and a half, as well as Innsbruck and Munich airports, each with a transfer time of two and a half hours. If you plan on coming by train, the nearest train station is at Zellamsee, and buses leave the resort on an hourly basis heading up to the train station, while a taxi to the resort from Zellamsee train station should cost around 30 euros. As an important starting point, the ski season in Zalbach begins in late November and lasts until mid-April. The ski circus name comes from the layout of the lift system in the area, which forms a circuit route on the mountain around the two main resort villages. The circuit can be ridden both ways, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Since the connection of a fourth ski resort of Fieberbrunn to the ski circus in 2016, the ski circus now spreads across two federal states in Austria, Salzburg and Tyrol. This gave the Alliance the excuse to make five recommended circuit routes. Four of the routes range from 19 to 26 kilometers of runs and will take you around two to two and a half hours, including lift times, so you'll have plenty of time for stops and further exploration of each area. The main four routes are the Zalbach circuit, the Interglam circuit, which can be done clockwise as well as anti-clockwise, The Leo Gang circuit, which is comprised of 100% blue runs and intended for people staying in Leo Gang, but can easily be adapted for guests staying in Zalbach. Next, the Tyrol circuit, which is certainly the hardest of the four so far. The fifth circuit, the largest circuit route in the world, contains 65 kilometers of runs. It's formed of a circle around the entire ski circus and will take seven and a half hours without stops for advanced skiers. So that's why they call it the challenge. With most of the terrain elevation sitting below 2,100 meters, the resort has invested heavily in snowmaking facilities to make up for any natural shortfalls, and all major pistes are covered. 
The ski circus's elevation spans from 840 meters to 2,096 meters above sea level. The ski circus rose from 200 to 270 kilometers of connected ski runs after the connection to Fieberbrunn. The full network is served by 70 state-of-the-art lifts. Overall, there are 14 black runs, 55 red runs and 87 blue runs throughout the ski circus. Take note that as of 2020, the ski pass is called Alpine Ski Pass and includes the resort of Zellamzee and Caprun, with a total of 408 kilometers of slopes. There's also a new gondola connecting the Glem Valley to Zellamzee Mountain, the Schmitten in Wiehofen, just a small ski bus ride from Zalbach. The ski circus itself is an intermediate skier's paradise. Experts can test themselves with a long, steep black run with a vertical drop of around 1,000 meters under the Schattberg and Zwolferkorgel lifts, as well as a World Cup black run in the area. There are decent off-piste options when snow conditions allow, and if you feel adventurous, you can hike up above the Hochhern Le Cher, where a leg of the free ride World Tour Extreme Ski and Snowboard Competition takes place each year. Freestylers have a park immediately above Interglam. In another park above Leo Gang, they can test their skills on the airbag. Zalbach Interglam has every style of accommodation, from basic apartments up to luxurious five-star hotels. The big question is where to stay. Staying in the centre of town in Zalbach offers a range of après ski activities with easy to access lifts, or for a comparatively quieter time, you can stay in Interglam. You can travel from Zalbach to Interglam via ski bus from 8.30 a.m. to 5.00 p.m. The ski bus departs every 20 or 30 minutes and ski pass holders can use this service for free. During the night, there is a night bus which costs around 3 euros with departure times of 7.50 p.m., 9.00 p.m. and 11.15 p.m. After that, you'll need to take a taxi at a cost of around 14 to 17 euros. Zalbach is an attractive Tyrolean village with a river running through the centre. Its main street is traffic free and very pleasant to wander down. During the day it's a loving and peaceful environment, but when the après ski hour starts the place quickly becomes packed with revellers that continues late into the night. If you need a full 8 hours of sleep every night we would advise that you stay in a different part of the resort. Regarding après ski if you finish your day on the southern face of Zalbach, we recommend you give a visit to Interhaga Alma, situated at mid-mountain above Zalbach on your ski back to the village. Thank God it's a blue run back to the village after happy hour. From here, ski down to Bauer's Schialm near the bottom of the Kulmais Gondola in central Zalbach. If you finish your skiing day on Interglam's southern face, don't miss out on Guastal, close to the bottom of Ritterkogel Gondola, where the après ski party goes on and on. Another good option in Interglam is Der Schwarzacher, just below the snow park. Between 8 and 9 and 12 o'clock, you want to go to Salba, they've got Underbar, which plays live music, and they do really ridiculous cocktails, they're really good, they're really strong, they definitely do the job. And you've got Urtzibar, you've got Costello's, 
we've got Bobby's Bar. Bobby's Bar is good because they serve pizza and it's a sports bar. Now after 12 o'clock, maybe 12, 1 in the morning, they close. Come back to Interglam and you've got the, the Tantamal and the, the club underneath the Tantamal. The Tantamal upstairs, they play like typical Abrace music, a lot of Dutch songs um, and it's always busy. And then downstairs in the club underneath, uh, they've got more house music, more techno, it's darker, it's louder, it's, it's more of a nightclub. Uh, I'd recommend going there. As well as that, we'll add a recommendation for the tavern, with live bands and DJs, ideal for a late night in Zalbach. Zalbach offers many other attractions. There's night skiing in Interglam, which operates every day until 9.30pm except for Sundays, tobogganing, and for the brave of heart, why not try paragliding and go for a tandem flight where you can really see and feel all the amazing views that Zalbach has to offer. Before we wrap up, here are our ratings for Zalbach Interglam. For beginners, 7.5. Intermediates, 9. Advanced skiers, 8. Snowboarders, 8.5. Free riders, it's an 8. For free stylers, also 8. Après ski, 8.5. Nightlife, 8.5. Resort charm, 8.5. And our total score for Zalbach Interglam is 8.7. We'd really appreciate if you like this video, add it to your favourites list and send it to your ski buddies. If you want to stay up to date and receive a new review on different ski resorts every weekend or two, you'll make our day if you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to push the chime on the right so every time we upload a video, you'll be notified.